thing. Mm. What are you going to do about John? Do you have to worry about that now? Well, let's face it. We're running out of ways to meet. We can't pull this one again. Ellen will be suspicious. And if I take you to lunch once more, John's going to start asking questions. Yes, I know. Have you talked to him about bringing out the new line of modern stuff? He won't discuss it. I've got to find some way to make money. Why doesn't he just retire and let me run the business? Well, there's not a chance of that. The business is his whole life and he's still in his prime, except for his absent-mindedness about appointments. You know, I think you've got something. What do you mean? The old boy's losing his grip. He doesn't know what he's doing. When you can't remember business matters, it's time to retire. John's got a memory like a file cabinet. He never forgot anything in his life. Ellen thinks he forgot about my appointment, doesn't she? You know very well you never had an appointment. I know it. But does John? Don't you get it? He prides himself on his memory. If we can convince him that he's getting forgetful, then we'll be able oh, to... No. He'd be a nervous wreck in no time. Oh, what a horrible thought. It was only an idea. I think it's a wonderful, horrible idea. Oh, good evening, Ellen. Good evening, sir. I lost my keys. Well, you left them on the table this morning, sir. Oh, here's John now. Oh, sure. I put them in my pocket. You promised you'd be home early. Good evening, John. Oh, hello, Sam. I was so busy, I didn't notice the time. Are you working too hard? Oh, no. I don't know. Perhaps a little. Dear, why don't you go up and change so we can have dinner? Well, that's a good idea. I'll wash and then we'll eat. Oh, will you stay for dinner, Sam? Well, I... I was. Thank you, John. Uh, that'll be nice. Didn't you tell him I was coming to dinner? Doctor, it was his idea to invite you tonight. I reminded him just this morning. I can hardly believe it. Why, his memory is phenomenal. How long has he been like this? It's been months. I kept trying to get him to see you, but he wouldn't. I begged him to take it easy, retire, but he just goes into a rage. What's wrong with him, Doctor? Well, it certainly can't be anything physical. I gave him a thorough checkup only a few weeks ago. Would you object to having a specialist examine him? A specialist? What do you mean? I mean a psychiatrist. You don't think he's... He... No, no, no. Don't jump to conclusions. It may be nothing more than just mental fatigue. But I do think you should take him to see Dr. Croteman as soon as possible. Oh. Now, there, there, there. Good morning. If Dr. Hell thinks I'm sick, why doesn't he treat me himself? Why does he slough me off on a strange doctor? Sam thinks it's best or he wouldn't have suggested it. Mr. Brown? Yes? Dr. Copeland will see you immediately. Uh, may I use the phone, please? Certainly. How do you do, Mr. Brown? I'm Dr. Croteman. Won't you sit down? We'll have a little talk. There's nothing to talk about. If you want me to take some medicine, give me the prescription, let me get out of here. I don't prescribe medicine, Mr. Brown. Sit down. Just what kind of a doctor are you? Oh, hello, Harold. I'm afraid John won't be able to come to the office today. I've had to bring him to see a doctor. Oh, really? What's the matter with him? Well, we won't know until Dr. Cropman completes his examination. Will you be able to manage things if John should have to take a long rest? If it's long enough, I'll have this business coining money. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, let, let me out of here. Stand away from All you. we can hope I'll is that the doctor you. finds nothing he wrong. He thinks I'm insane. I'm uh, oh, nothing wrong with me. I'm getting out of here. Doctor. Mrs. Brown. Is he? You saw for yourself. Your husband needs help. 
I advise you to place him in a rest home as soon as possible. Hello. Harold. I'm afraid I can't talk to you now. It seems that John is much worse than I thought. Sure, I heard. He's mad as a hatter. Well, how are we feeling today? You're implying I'm a split personality. Both of us are fine. You know, I just came from visiting a dual personality. Both of them feel terrible. You, you're doing very nicely. Does that mean you're going to let me out of here? Well, what's wrong with this place? It's quiet, pleasant, you have leisure time to paint. Uh, may I look? It isn't finished yet. Well, it's uh, unusual, certainly. What do you call it? I haven't quite decided whether to call it modern living or simply biography. I see. Tell me, John, uh, just what were you trying to interpret here? How do I know? I'm loony. <laughs> there it is, Mr. Skinner. Your capital position is badly impaired due to the heavy investment which is frozen in inventory. Just give it to me in basic English. Very well, Mr. Skinner. Unless there is a drastic increase in sales and a liquidation of your past due accounts receivable, the company is going to be insolvent in approximately three months. Three months? Well, I need at least a year. Then I'd suggest you're obtaining additional capital. On what? The name John Brown and Company has always been sufficient collateral. Maybe John Brown could get a loan. The company can't borrow a dime. <laughs> These are the debits. And here are the complete assets as of... Harold, I can't even balance a checkbook. You'll have to explain it to me. It's very simple. If we don't make some money in the next few months, we're out of business. Well, how much do you need? We need $50,000, partner. Oh, we've gone back to a partnership, have we? We never dissolved. Everything split right down the middle. Up to now, it's been 50% of nothing. When do the profits start coming in? We could make a lot of money, Mrs. Brown, remember? I remember you thought it was a pretty good idea at the time. I was wrong. I guess you should have stayed with John. Oh, darling, I didn't mean that. It wasn't just the money. You know that, don't you? I know. Isn't there anything we can do? We've got to find some way to raise 50,000. Or the stuff will sell. It just takes time. Have you tried to get a loan? All over town. They'd lend it to John, but they think I'm just a young upstart. Maybe if John used his influence, would that help? I don't think he'd do it. He'd do anything for the company, you know that. It's worth trying. Come on, I'll drive you out there. John? Oh, Vera! Come in, my dear. Come out, whichever it is. I wasn't expecting you till next weekend. Well, then you don't mind my surprising you. Still the same, Vera, just the same. You might have caught me making up to one of the nurses. Here, sit down, my dear, sit down. How are you feeling, John? I've quite taken to this sort of life. It's rather pleasant. Painting, talking, just taking it easy. You know, I never realized how uncomfortable a starched collar could be till I started wearing these. <laughs> of course, they'd, uh, they'd never do in business. John, you haven't mentioned the business. I'm sure Harold is doing excellently. He's a very clever young man. A little erratic, but I dare say he's learning. Well, he's doing the best he can, but he, he needs help. Maybe you could advise him. I don't see how I could do that. I've been out of touch too long. Nearly a year, isn't it? Just about. Too many things change in that time. I don't know what conditions are. No, no, Harold's right there. He knows more about it than I do now. Come back. The company needs you, and... And so do I. Well, you mean leave here? I'm afraid Doc Cropin would have something to say about that. But you're so much better, John. You've had a long rest and you look wonderful. Don't you think if the psychiatrist examined you again, he'd see that? He does seem rather pleased with my progress. Oh, good. Then I'll tell Sam about it. He'll know what's best to be done. If you wish, my dear. 
But I'm not sure it'll do any good. Well, all packed, I see. You know, I'm beginning to think that you never liked this place. It's not so bad after you get used to it, Doc. You say I'm all right now. My wife wants me home. Well, you take care of yourself. I don't want to see you back here again, except as a visitor. I'll see that he never comes back, Doctor. Shall we go, dear? Uh, John, if you'll sign this, we'll spring you. Anything you say, Warden. That's a fine way to talk. Here, I'll take those. Oh, I forgot this. Well, I think that's everything. Mrs. Brown, I'm sorry. Your husband won't be able to go with you just now, after all. I don't understand. He is not able to leave you now. But he's completely sane. You said so. He gives that appearance, yes. But in disturbances of this sort, we can't always be sure. Now, I'm afraid John has to stay here. But he can't. We need him. The business. I must take him home. You'd only be taking home his body. His mind is... Pull up for yourself. 